from now onwards i am going to upload some scenario oriented entry questions in our youtube channel because nowadays in interview many candidates are facing these type of challenging so these type of scenario based entry questions only so due to high competition the entry panel also they are filtering the candidates by asking scenario based entry questions they are taking one topic and they are sticking on the same topic and the entry panels used to ask these scenario based entry questions only so i thought that uh, if i upload uh, scenario based entry questions for our viewers and uh, subscribers then these questions are definitely helpful for our viewers so in this video i am going to show you the top 10 uh, scenario based entry questions for qa automation testing job role without wasting our time let me quickly open my laptop screen now let us see the first uh, scenario based entry questions for qa automation test engineer uh, here suppose if you find a bug in the production how do you make sure that the same bug not introduced again so this is one of the mostly asked entry questions for experienced qa automation test engineer okay so for this question the answer is like uh, you can prepare like this but answer is uh, depends on the candidate depends on your experience so you can explain in your way okay but uh, 90% of the people you can uh, answer the same way like like this only okay first you have to understand the bug okay that means you have to analyze the root cause of the bug thoroughly to understand why it is occurred and then you have to note down the issues and its resolutions clearly after understanding the bug then you have to implement a fix you have to develop and implement a fix for the bug so ensure that the fix is thoroughly tested in a development or staging environment before deploying into the production and then you have to take some code reviews as well so your code review process to include a specific check for the conditions that led to the bug and peer reviews can help the catch potential issues before they reach production and you have to monitoring and alerting them and you have to do some post mortem analysis so after implementing the fix you have to conduct a post mortem analysis to review the bug and the action taken to resolve it okay and then you have to some knowledge sharing as well so ensure that the knowledge gain from addressing the bug is shared across the team so this could include updating documentation conducting training session or sharing the insights in the team meetings so these are the steps you have to follow okay to make sure the same bug is not introduced or not reoccur again in your project in the next question is how many objects will be created in the following code so the interview panel wants to check you are some coding skills coding knowledge so therefore they might ask this type of query as well so here they given some three string literals you are creating the object for string class okay. answer is here only one object will create because strings are immutable in java okay so we can explain why strings are immutable okay what will happen if strings are mutable you can explain in short way okay but the answer is here strings are immutable that is the reason only one object will create and the next question is when to use inheritance and abstraction and give me some example where you are using inheritance and abstraction concept in your project can you explain in your testing environment inheritance is used when you have a hierarchy of classes where one class shares the common attributes and behaviors with another class but also has its own unique attributes or behaviors for example you can you can uh, explain with example like uh, in the context of testing a web application consider a scenario where you have different types of users such as admin user and a regular user and a guest user all these types of users share some, some common functionalities like login and log out but they might have different permissions or access levels in this case you can create a database called user which contain 
common functionalities and then drive specific user type from from this base class using inheritance if you explain this example then definitely entry panel impress with your answer then we, when you use abstraction abstraction is used when you want to define a blueprint for a class without providing implementation details for all its methods it helps the hiding the complexity and only exposing essential features to the outside world for example in the context of testing web application consider a testing framework where you have a base class called test case which defines common methods for setting up and tearing down test environments but it does not provide implementation details for specific test cases instead it declares abstract methods like uh, run test which are meant to be implemented by concrete subclasses concrete subclasses like login test or sign up test would then provide the implementation details for specific test cases while inheriting common setup and tear down behaviors from the test class classes so if you explain uh, with these examples then the entry panel definitely impressive next question is how will you handle multiple exceptions so this is also entry panel wants to take your wants to check your coding skills this question is used to ask entry panel because they want to check your coding skills okay so yes of course in java programming language you can easily handle multiple ex exceptions by using try and catch blocks so in the try block contains the code that may throw exception where the possibility is there to, to throw a exception uh, such kind of statements are we have to keep in the try block okay where the where the possibility where the possibilities are there to raise a exception and uh, in the catch block each catch block handles a specific type of exception so the order of catch block is important with more specific exceptions caught host okay so you can have many catch blocks as needed to handle different types of mm -hmm. exception so you can check it out here here in this try block we are uh, given statements like uh, arithmetic exceptions and we are handling those arithmetic expression in the specific catch block and again number format exception and one more exception okay and the next question is how are you maintaining the logs in your framework so this is also one of the frequently asked entry question okay uh, in selenium maintaining logs is very crucial for debugging monitoring and uh, analyzing test execution the first one is you have to use one logging framework you have to utilize the logging frameworks like log4j logback or java built-in logging okay so these frameworks provide flexible configuration for logging levels okay and then you have to uh, do some logging levels use different logging levels for example info debug or error to categorize the log messages based on their importance and uh, CVRT. so this allows you to control the uh, uh verbosity of the logs and uh, filter them as needed and then log statement insert log statement statically throughout your selenium code to capture relevant information such as uh, test steps assertions exceptions and uh, web driver actions okay and then error handling you have to wrap the critical selenium operation for example finding elements interacting with the elements in try catch blocks to catch and uh, log any exceptions that occur during test execution this ensures that errors are captured and reported in the logs and then test execution logs and a logging enhancement so this is one of the example how to uh, do some logging okay so you have to create one class example test class and then you have to use logger class you have to get logger and you have to create some try catch, try catch block here okay so this example demonstrate how to use log 4 j to log information like debug the message okay and errors during selenium test execution so make sure to continue log 4 j property for output destination and logging levels according to your requirement
Next question is how will you execute three test cases at a time? So this is also one of the important and frequent questions, guys. To execute multiple test cases simultaneously in Selenium, you can leverage parallel test execution capabilities provided by the test ng framework like uh, uh, test ng r j and these frameworks offer built-in support for parallel execution and allows you to run multiple test cases concurrently across different threads or process uh, suppose uh, uh, configure the test ng you have to set up the test ng xml configuration to specify the test classes and the desired parallel execution mode okay so you can configure parallel execution at the test level and class level method level and shoot level as well and then implement the test case write your test cases using test ng annotations like at the rate of test before method after method etc and then run the test execute the test using test ng test runs like a test ng xml or test ng dot run through build automation tools like maven or gradle so next question is how to pass test data in selenium so there are various ways are there to pass a test data in selenium uh, by using external data sources like you can utilize external data sources like uh, excel sheets csv files json files xml files or databases to store test data separately from the test code you can then read the test data from these sources and use it in your test scripts and one more option is the property files with the help of property files also you can pass the test data okay first you have to create some username and password and then you have to write some java code to create the properties files object and by the help of and using file input stream you can read the data from the properties file okay and one more option is also there uh, data providers in the test ng if you are using test ng as your test ng framework you can use the data providers to pass test data to test methods okay and the next question is and the next question is how will you follow the agile process in your company so i have already uploaded in our youtube channel uh, agile tutorial full agile tutorial you just check it out how the agile process is happening in any software company okay and the next question is how will you create a job and how it will execute in jenkins okay so these are all the some uh, scenario based entry questions uh, if anyone wants this document so please comment in the comment section i will share this so that's all guys my so i hope these qa automation testing entry questions scenario entry questions makes you really uh, feel confident to attend the interviews what type of scenario entry questions used to ask for real-time experience candidates so nowadays many candidates are facing challenges uh, and uh, they are rejecting an interview due to lack of real-time experience and uh, they are facing challenges they are facing these type of scenario entry questions if you want more videos like this then follow our by like sir youtube channel and don't forget to share it to your friends as well come back with one more useful strong content video till then thank you very much bye bye